Okay, welcome back. And today I want to show you this uh, alien from They Live. One of my, if not favourite, John Carpenter film. And really happy to have this figure in the collection. It's one of those ones that I've been trying to sort out for years and I've had many different uh, variations on this. Um, I'm trying to remember who originally done the, the first head sculpt. I think it was um, Mr. Barlow going back many, many years on uh, Sideshow Freaks and he'd done a sculpt very similar to this. Um, more gaunt in the face but very cool and he done two versions he done this one with like the hair as you see it and then he done like the slick back version if you look on um Darth Magnus's uh channel I'm sure he's got the two there or he's got one and you give one over one to someone else for uh can't remember who you give it to but yeah they're on YouTube somewhere if you search one six they live you'll probably find a load of my crap ones and Darth Magnus's one and uh, another one painted by uh, Grego. I think they were both painted by Grego. Really good. Always wanted one for years. And uh, I had I had this one here, <laughs> which uh, no disrespect, um, guy made this and he gave it to me basically. Uh, very cheap and I think he threw in a couple of extra ones and it's not bad it's not bad uh, you know you know, you can tell where it's from but um, it could do with a little bit of finessing anyway so yeah I've got plenty of videos of that on the channel and um, yeah just Give you a quick look at the head sculpt and uh, the variations in the the colours. I started painting this, oh, I don't know, about six months ago, and I sort of got sidetracked as I do, and I finished it off the other day. And uh, yeah, really happy how it's come out. Against all odds, it's come out really, really well. Maybe not exactly screen accurate, but I love it. I love it. It looks better on camera than it does in person. <laughs> no, it does look good in person too, but as you can see, uh, I've done the newspaper. I've done that years and years ago. Again, you can see in my other videos. Painted the hands last night. Uh, they're not too bad, a little bit blotchy. Oh, and the watch is a bit massive, but it'll do. There's the other hand there. Just got basically three or four colours there. I've got dark blue, then a light blue, then like a purpley red, then some white mixed in. And let's say the paper. Is pretty cool. I'm gonna to have to make a few more of these up because this one's looking a bit tired and beat up. If I show it to you, excuse me. It's got the uh, do not question authority, no independent thought inside, no imagination, only really reproduce. And then what I've done is just just got to oh, that one. And that one stuck together again that one and that one stuck together and just doubled them up so it's got um yeah different on the inside and the outside yeah so that's pretty cool this suit is pretty accurate to the film and i'm not sure about the tie might have a better tie. Maybe a blue stripey, more conservative looking tie. Because the uh, aliens one 
all they're interested in is money and you know don't want to get into the politics of the film but John uh, Carpenter said it was about this that and the other and a lot of other people including the late Roddy Piper interpreted it as uh, different and uh, you know the aliens are among us <laughs> I am a conspiracy theorist or a, a conspiracy realist <laughs> it's not a theory anymore it's real we're living in scary times the bills the prices of things are going up and resources are becoming less and less apparently so maybe we're in there dodgy times <laughs> maybe the aliens are getting ready to colonize and reveal their true selves i don't know i don't know fucking i wouldn't be surprised anyway no. so here's the original sculpt that i got and um i thought i'd done a video on this a while back but i'm looking on my channel i can't find it and i bought this off a guy from america and he's a bit of an arsehole to be honest i mean the sculpt is is excellent but um yeah for whatever reason i can't even remember why but he pissed me off so i didn't want to give him any publicity and uh, i thought a company like trick or treat were talking about doing this figure so i was thinking maybe this is a a release sample or maybe it's an independent artist i don't know but i re-sculpted it and for some reason as you can see it's kind of shrunk but i like it i really like it i like the thinner look to it um i did do another uh, recast i don't know if this is the second or the third or the first um but yeah this one was kind of small this one i kind of wrote a cast and kind of went a bit deformed and uh, had to re-sculpt the hair at the front there but I kind of like it. Anybody in the UK needs a daily figure, might do this one cheap. It's not the best. Not this one, this one. You can have this one cheap. <laughs> Still pretty good. But um, this one I'm keeping. But uh, what was the point? Yeah, it kind of reminds me <laughs> of uh, Richard Maidley. Anybody in the UK will know, or should know, Richard and Judy. This is like uh, the real-life Alan Partridge <laughs> in alien form. Welcome back. Yeah, so I'm all over the place here. I'm tired. My throat's killing me. been vaping too much and cooking and eating hot chilli and I'm fucked. I'm fucked. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little look at this. I really like it. He's got the uh, the brown shoes on. Very corporate look. Very uh, conservative in my in my book. If you if you're not familiar with the, the film, there's a scene where uh, the character Nada puts on the glasses and, and starts realising the world around him is not what it seems and uh, we're bombarded by these images of consumerism and, you know, consume, buy, obey. Unless you've been living under a rock, most people should know this film. But there might not be. There might be a few people out there that are still uninitiated or... Still got the blinkers on. If so, check out this film, They Live by uh, John Carpenter. It is a really good one. And, uh, yeah, when I saw it the first time, it it was one of those light bulb moments. It's like you know what's going on, but when, when somebody puts it into a film like that, whether their intention was different to what actually, you know is going on i don't know but 
they're definitely they're definitely here whether they're lizards whether they're aliens whether they're bloody um, skull and bones or illuminati whatever you want to call them they're here and their, ob their object is to enslave humanity and they've done a pretty good job so far but I tell you people it's time to wake up wake up wake up before it's too late bye